For Action News, I'm Anna Samoska. There are 68 million tobacco users in the U.S. 44 million of them choose to get their nicotine fix by smoking cigarettes, the deadliest form of tobacco. And yet, despite the misconception, the health threat is not in the nicotine they so crave. In Action's latest publication, we discuss why smokers inhale for the nicotine, but they die from the smoke. Take a look. It takes only one cigarette to light up, two or three before you're hooked, and possibly a lifetime to quit. The powerful force behind the addiction nicotine, an alkaloid, a naturally occurring nitrogen-containing compound derived from plants. There are plenty of known alkaloids, including caffeine and morphine. The fact is that nicotine is highly addictive when it's inhaled in the combination of chemicals that are in uh, tobacco smoke. Uh, when you burn tobacco in a cigarette, and inhale it, you're getting not just nicotine and, and uh, uh, various carcinogens and toxins, you're getting several thousand chemicals in various concentrations. But Dr. Ross says nicotine isn't what kills. It's the constant inhalation of smoke and chemicals that can lead to chronic bronchitis, <coughs> emphysema, lung disease, or an early death. People generally uh, smoke for the nicotine, but they die from the smoke. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. Many people out in the community, many smokers even, believe that it's the nicotine that's the killer in, in the tobacco smoke. But it's not. Here's how it works. Once the cigarette is lit, the high temperatures from the burning tobacco produce a huge variety of toxic chemicals. Those chemical reactions would normally not take place under non-combustion conditions. Like using the patch, or the gum, or the electronic cigarette. Current smoking trends suggest one billion people will die prematurely from cigarette smoke inhalation in the 21st century. And yet, a recent British survey shows 40% of physicians think nicotine is the carcinogen in cigarettes. <laughs> that long-standing misconception is perhaps the key factor in the latest scrutiny of electronic cigarettes. E-cig. E-cigarettes. More are turning to electronic cigarettes. It's a device aimed at helping addicted smokers quit, delivering the nicotine to the body, emitting vapor, not smoke. E-cigarette critics say we simply don't know enough about what's in the device. At a recent New York City Council hearing, Dr. Ross said, we simply do, and it's far less toxic than the real thing. We sure do know what's in the vapor, and uh, nothing harmful is in the vapor. Studies done uh, by Dr. Igor Burstein at Drexel, uh, published in the journal, uh, uh, clearly demonstrated that there were no significant health threats from uh, vapor toxicants. Action's Facebook page, Helping Addicted Smokers, echoes that support, with more than 30,000 fans and ex-smokers sharing personal stories of struggle with cigarettes and triumph with the alternative. The New York City Council, however, voted to ban the use of electronic cigarettes indoors. The reasons why this is an important message is people have misconceptions about uh, nicotine and the various toxins in cigarettes and they get them mixed up. And we need to make the message clear that it's not the nicotine that's killing smokers, it's the smoke. And if we can give them the nicotine without the smoke, we'll probably be doing a great service. To read much more on nicotine, harm reduction, and to download the full publication, you can head to our website, aksha.org. Don't forget while you're there to also sign up for our daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Aksha, I'm Anna Samovska.